heartburn from Moscow. I've been asked to keep it down a little bit. Uh, we're told to put our phones on silent, and uh, everybody's pretty quiet here. Uh, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk a little bit soft, but I thought I'd give you guys a little taste of what it's like to travel between World Cup venues. The trains are pretty nice, certainly better than, say, the GO train in Toronto. Um, you know, each car here has a waitress, uh, there's a couple of bars, security here. Seems to be top level with handcuffs and, uh, and guns in case anybody gets out of control. But I thought I'd just give you a little walk through. Uh, so I'm going to turn the camera around. Not sure everybody liked that. This car uh, is uh, is kind of packed with Mexicans and Egyptians and uh, of course uh, Russians and some Germans. We're heading up to St. Petersburg following last night's uh, Mexico Germany game at the Luzhniki Stadium. Uh, pretty nice stuff here. Plenty of room. Um, You'll be comfortable. Uh, one thing I would say is you know downtown Moscow seemed to be very nice. Uh, it's kind of the centerpiece. Uh, Putin and, and showcasing this country in this tournament. Um, but what I would say is once you get on the outskirts, kind of the suburbs of, of Moscow, things kind of decline rather quickly. The, the houses maybe aren't up to the standard that we enjoy in, uh, in, in Canada and the United States. A lot of worn down factories, uh, a lot of poverty it seems, so that kind of took me by surprise. But uh, this, uh, this rail goes between St. Petersburg and Moscow, and Moscow and Disney of Gorod, so we'll check in as I go to uh, Nizhny uh, after turning to, to Moscow, so we'll check in then.